Visit ccgcastle.com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Send us your book in exchange for Evolution Booster Box. Visit CCG Castle or check video description to learn more. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. Today's video will be looking at the first place Orlando Regional Championship Master Division deck that Azul Garcia uh, played uh, and accomplished to get first place. So this is a Evil Garbador deck as you can see in front of you. So pretty much simple straight away uh, deck list. So um, two copies of Friday Night Evil Tiles with the Peach Black Spear. Um, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, each Pokemon tool card in play has no effect. And pretty much Peach Black Spear for one, Darkness and Double Chorus Energy is 60 and 60 to one of your opponent bench at EX Pokemon. So the main uh, focus uh, with this deck is of course to uh, try to put uh, Peach Black Spear Evil Tile in the active spot, try to lock your opponent um, Pokemon with heavy retreat cost in the active spot and pretty much spread the damage around the board of course if you play EX matchup. If you play the matchup for example against Greninjas or Volcanions, Garbodor is definitely here with the Garbotoxin to try to uh, help you against those steam ups and uh, what uh, John Water Shuriken. So it's definitely a good combo but pretty much against um, let's say a Vulcanion, um, you even don't need to Garbodor in play, but uh, later in game it can actually help you a lot in that uh, war with your Evil Tally X against Vulcanions because without Steam Ups you maybe survive somehow two turns with uh, Fighting Fury Belts. Even more if this deck actually have uh, something like a Center Lady, but it does not have Center Lady, but it have Olympia, which will, uh, for example, uh, heal 30 damage from your Pokemon in the active spot and put it on the bench, which is definitely a very great card in my opinion. So 12 Pokemon, 35 trainer cards and 13 energies means 60 cards in total. So let's take a look on, the, on all of Pokemon uh, cards. So um, two Shimini X for the setup, of course, uh, one Baby Evil Tall with Oblivion Wing, and two Friday Night Evil Tiles, following that with three um, strong attackers, Evil Tally X, the card that's printed first time in 2014, almost three years ago, in the X and Y set. Uh, it has so many reprints. Um, the, there is also one promo, uh, actually two different promo cards from the two different teams, so that's that's just insane. So they printed Evil Tile two times. Um, just so it can be playable uh, like in two different, even three different uh, formats. I mean, same like the Dark Lock, Dark Raid, same thing happening with that Evil Tile. Um, they really like those Darkness Pokemons in my opinion. And of course, two copies of Trubbish with the Acid Spray and uh, the Garbodor with the Garbotoxin. In addition to that, two Enhanced Hammers, very clever and very smart pick in my opinion. Definitely can help you a lot to counter those Oblivion, um, those uh, other mirror matchups, but also those um, decks who actually depend on special energies like uh, Dark Rage or Dino, for example, where you can easily scrap um, one double dragon energy and reduce the damage for 40, for example, on your opponent. Um, Dark Ray or even disable that Chaos Will. Um, actually, only three copies of Max Elixirs, not four. Um, but uh, pretty much with three copies of Max Elixirs and nine energies, there's a little bit bigger chance that you might be able to hit that energy instead of the eight uh, energies and four Max Elixirs. In my opinion, I really like that idea. Uh, one copy of Super Oat. Only two copies of Trainer's Mails. So the reason for that is probably that extra uh, and, and, of course, extra space. For some other cards like Enhanced Hammers and Olympia. Uh, four Ultra Balls, of course, four V Seekers uh, from Supporter Cards, two copies of Lysander, of course, must have in deck uh, when you play Friday Night Evil Tiles. You really want to take that advantage, Lysander, in your opponent Pokemons, and pretty much setting up maybe even a four prize knockout per turn. Uh, three ends instead of the two, uh, which I really like. Uh, of course, one copy of Olympia, very good card, very good card. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. If you do, heal 30 damage from that Pokemon and move it on the bench. So, um, four Professor Sycamores, so pretty much just go discard your, ha uh, discard your hand, draw seven cards. No need to talk too much about this card, everything is clear here. Um, three stadiums, actually, that's pretty much interesting. I personally would more like maybe two stadiums and one deliquent, but uh, he really want that extra 10 damage with uh, that uh, reverse volley, which is very good. And of course, two Pearl Cities to get rid of your Banshee Pokemons uh, from play. And of course, you can remove Shamings or damage one. Um, three Fighting Fury Belts, so you can have 40 more HP and 10 more damage, which is 
pretty good. I mean, uh, let's say you have Garbodor with the Garbodor Toxin in play, you can have 170 HP with the Friday Night Evil and you can go for 80 per turn to the active and 60 to the bench at one, which is very powerful in my opinion. Um, two copies of float, uh, three copies of float stones, 13 energies, four of them double course energies, and nine basic regular darkness energies, which will conclude this deck um, to the final uh, 60 cards. So if you're looking for any of these cards, as usual, find them on ccgcastle.com. You can find the link in my video description. Uh, TCG Center 5 code for 5 disc uh, for 5 uh, percent discount in your purchase, and also you can trade uh, 1,400 um, commons. There are commons or any kind of the Pokemon bulk cards for evolution uh, booster box. So you can find everything in my video description. So uh, be sure to check that. So let's do some game tests with this deck, so you can actually see how it works in action. So see you in the game. All right, so let's do this. There's a tails, which means that I lost the coin flip. And that probably means that I will go second. I think I play against Greninja Break on the other side. And it's going to be a very interesting matchup to watch. Um, especially because I have that Garbodor with the Garbatoxin. And uh, I can pretty much easily disable his Greninja's <coughs> John Water Shurikens. So I'm thinking about putting my baby Evil Tall here and one Peach Black Spear Evil Tall on my bench. <coughs> Why? Because I can easily power up energies from my disc compile to the bench. And uh, I need that Evil Tally X pretty much quickly. So I can one hit knock out all of his Frogadiers and the Greninjas. But of course, I need to set up my Garbador. That's the most important thing. Without Garbador, everything can happen. Everything, especially if he promotes my Pitch Black Spear Evil Tally in the active spot. I guess I don't need uh, Peach Black Spirit Evil Tal in this matchup. So I have two Darkness Energies, which is not bad at all, I guess. Okay, there's a Rough Seas, third one, which I really love to see. Um, he was he was not able to find his. Um, oh, and okay. His Thermal Flame, that means that he had probably four dead cards in his hand. He started with the Froakie. Which is, in my opinion, also not that bad, I guess. So, there's one Fighting Fury Belt. Um, I guess one Max Elixir. Just before that Sick War um, is going to be played. Yeah, I guess Floatstone. Not bad. If I put my Garbodor in play, I definitely want to have that. Flowstone. So right now I have energy. I really want to attack third one. And of course Ultra Ball. For these two cards. I know that he can easily I know that he can easily heal the damage off from his Froki, but who cares? Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. This does not look good. I can go for 40, but I don't have energies in my disco pile, so it's not worth to hit for 40 and take 6 damage counters back. So, DC on the next turn and M for 6. There's a die ball for Frogadier. I guess I should maybe discard my. Double color is energy. Maybe not. There's another bursting balloon and the water duplicates. Just to watch much more interesting matchup, I will actually um, allow my opponent to set up. So there we go. One double core is energy and one M. So it's definitely time right now to set up my Travish on the bench. Because this is going to be very, very dangerous if I miss my Garbador pretty quickly. So this Shaman will be for 3. And uh, Oblivion Wing will happen right now for 40. I don't have a single energy in my disc pile. So I took 6 damage counters back. Of course he can heal some damage off. But every damage counter... Oh, there's an Enhanced Hammer. 
Oké. Okay. That enhanced hammer is actually kind of big. It really is. So right now he can hit for 80 more, which is not going to be enough to knock on my evil tall. But at least maybe I can somehow find more energies for my disco pile to power up my evil tolls on the bench and maybe even find a garbador which is going to be very important so another enhanced hammer discarded which is good I'm thinking maybe about playing better N instead of the sickle more but I'm not sure uh, moonlight slash for 80 of course and uh, in case I decide to attack I'm going to knock out myself that's definitely not good. So there's a Pearl City. A big Pearl City hits the ground. I guess I can cut from my bench my Shaman and my Eul Tal with the Fry Knight. I really don't need them. Floatstone for my Trubbish. More than that, I guess we see for Sycamore. So there's a Fighting Fury Belt, a Trainer's Mail for the V-Seeker. I don't have Garbador in play and that's definitely not good. Okay, so I will pass just from the one reason. If he get the Greninja break, he can John Water Shriek in my Trubbish. But he's not gonna be able. Oh, there's an M. So that means that he don't have um, Greninja break in his hand. Okay, I got two DCs and another Fighting Fear Belt and the Ultra Ball. So I hope I can attach somehow my Garbodor in play. So uh, there's a die ball, which is gonna be Greninja break for the John Water Shriek, and of course to knock out and eliminate that Trubbish uh, from play. That's very important uh, for a Greninja player, of course, to be able to uh, use those John Water Shriek kings. Of course, there is even bursting balloon. Of course, I'm I'm not going to. Probably I will try to get. Somehow Lysander to knock out his Greninja on the bench. Okay, so John Water Shrikane and Trubbish is knocked out. I wish I had Fighting Fairy Belt instead of the Floatstone on the Trubbish. Oh, he's not knocked out. He has 70 HP. Okay, I totally forget about that. He has 70 HP. So I always thought Trubbish have 60. Some uh, prints of the Trubbish have 60 HP. So, okay, I'm fine, I guess. So, let's see. Ultra Ball for Garbodor, Sycamore for 7. Um, there is Yultal EX. And then Hands Hammer as the top. Okay, so Ultra Ball for Garbador, and I don't see reason why should I play my Sycamore right now. I can wait with that Double Course Energy for the next turn. Um, I guess this is going to be a Evil Ball for the 90. I got six counters back. But of course, without um, Lysander, he can't knock out my Garbador. So far, I'm fine. Four Bursting Balloons already has been played. And all suddenly, I'm in good position. That's for sure. Maximum damage you can do is 80. And without Bursting Balloons, I can be good. 
So hitting for 80, minus 20 for that Pearl City is gonna be just 60 damage, so he need three turns, three more turns to actually uh, knock out my evil Tully X, where I can easily um, pretty much one hit knock out his Greninjas because uh, I have so many energies already on my evil talk here. So of course he can Moonlight Slash here for 80. Um, oh, there's a Lysander. So he will uh, Lysander my uh, Garbodor. I didn't expect to see Lysander in Greninja deck, but uh, I actually face one. That's interesting. And there we go. Garbodor is knocked out. I don't have Super Road because I already discarded. I don't have Garbodor, so not good at all. Okay, so there's a V Seeker. That means that I can ally Sander and knock out one of his Greninja breaks. And of course, I'm going to do that just because I have even enough damage counters with my Ice Cyclone and I can remove one Greninja break from play. Plus, I can have that. Uh, another evil tile full and ready to go. So with one John Water Shrieking, since he can only have one John Water Shrieking, he can hit for six. That's 120. And even if he can go for 80 more, it's not going to be enough to knock out my um, evil Tully X here. So I don't need to worry too much. There's another Greninja break. Maybe I can even hit um, Olympia with my trainer's mail and uh, retreat on my bench. And heal some damage from my active evil tool. So there's big professor Sycamore for seven, and uh, he's very limited on the resources right now. I don't see rough season play, which is very bad for him, because that Pearl City is definitely do uh, much more uh, problems to my opponent, reducing the damage for twenty. It's going to be very important here, uh, because hitting for sixty and eighty is not the same thing, especially if I can hit that Olympia and uh, heal some damage. Maybe he missed that John Water Shrieking on the bench for 10 and not going to be able to knock out my evil tongue. Alright, so there's John Water Shrieking and probably a Moonlight Slash for 60 more which means that I can maybe next turn Hmm. He recycled back that Greninja break. And the Moonlight Slash for 60. Damage decreased. I have 30 HP left, so Olympia will not do anything significantly here. Um, there's just the Ultra Ball and another Pearl City. So let's go with the Sycamore for 7. Searching for that basic darkness energy, which is going to be very important here. Managed to get one. And the question right now is... Should I maybe put another Evil Tally X in play right now and use that Ice Cyclone and put that energy on that Evil Tall on the bench? Or I can just go all in Okay, let's put another Evil Tully X on the bench. And uh, let's hit with the Ice Cyclone for 100. And of course, Double Course Energy will be transferred uh, from the active Evil Tully X to the bench in one. Unfortunately, I have uh, no um, Fighting Fury Belts left. But I do have Olympia. And there's another Froakie on the other side. I just need somehow to eliminate all of my opponents. Um, or injury breaks. Of course, if I can hit N, pretty much, maybe even next turn I can put him down to two cards and in very, very big disadvantage, especially if he miss those energy cards. And there's a one big John Water Street gain six damage counters to my bench at um, Evil Tully X, which is very important here. And Moonlight Slash to the active one, so that means that he missed the opportunity to find another Greninja break and strike for six more damage counters, which is very important. And right now I can promote my active Evil Tully X attach energy card 
and I can even Ultra Ball, but I really don't want to do that. I'm going to use my M because I can deck out myself. I need to be very cautious here. There's another V Seeker, which is great. And right now, I can hit with my uh, Evil Ball for 20, 40, um, 60, 80. That's enough for the knockout. So, Evil Ball for the 80. His Greninja Break is knock it out. And uh, I still need to take four prize cards, which is going to be a long way to go. But at least he have only two cards in his hand. And of course, without Greninja Break, he's not going to be able to do anything. So, there is Greninja Break in his hand. But what else he have in his hand? That's the big mystery. Huh? There's a V Seeker. So, he managed to get that V Seeker somehow for that big Professor Sycamore. And there we go. He discarded a Lysander. He played two copies of Lysander in Greninja Break deck. Wow, that's 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 just amazing. There's another Greninja and the Evil Soda for another Frogadier. Uh, but unfortunately, no Frogadier in his deck. That means somehow I need to set up basically a knockout on his Greninja Break next turn. Can I do that? I think I can't. I think there's no way I can do that. I need to calculate for how much I can hit. Um, for 120, 140, no, no, there's no way. There's no way. There's, a, there's even rough season play. Meaning that he can go for even much more damage here. Um, John Water Shurikane to my bench, it, no, to my active one. Oh, interesting. Interesting. And the Moonlight Slash. And the Moonlight Slash for the 80. What to do next? First, of course, Pearl City. I mean, only one energy and the game is over. I don't have Olympia. I don't have access to my Olympia. I guess I can end him and hope that he will miss energy card. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, um, I think I don't have double cores energy left. I actually have DC left. But the question is, do I have that card in my deck? So if I play N, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9. I draw 4, so I have 5 cards, minus 3. Mm. Energy attachment and uh, N. Oh, there's Olympia right now. A little bit too late. So John Water Shrieking will do the game. So the question is can he find that a giant water shuriken? If he can, pretty much the game is all over. But if he can't, I still have some chance maybe to win the matchup. I should do much better work actually in the beginning of the game. I took this um, too easy and that's the reason. Oh, there's an hands hammer, but I still don't see energy card. And there's a rough seas. So without energy, I might survive somehow a third here. Um, no, there's Professor's Leather. So he managed to get pretty much all he needs. And with that Professor's Leather, he can use John Water Shurikane. Pretty much go straight away for the knockout and uh, win the game. So the game, guys, is over, unfortunately for me. I didn't took this game too serious. <clears throat> and that's the reason why I lost. So the most important thing against Greninja Break is to set up basically your... Um, oh, okay. So John Water Shrieking because he can move my Slash. Uh, the most important thing, of course, is to set up those uh, Garbodors. But he played two copies of Lysander. I, I, in my entire life, I've never seen a um, player who played Greninja Break with two copies of Lysander. That's just ridiculous. So that's the reason why I actually lost this matchup. Uh, because he was able to uh, basically Lysander my Garbodor and take... Uh, knockout and uh, later use those John Water Shuriken. So once again guys, I hope you enjoy watching this um, first place deck review from the Orlando Regional Championship. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more future videos. If you have any questions, as always, don't forget to leave comments below. So till the next time, have a nice day wherever you are and uh, goodbye.